Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's quiz. In today's quiz we are going to have the interesting questions about the MDM, IDD and other relevant components of the MDM. So let's start today's quiz. The very first question of today's quiz is build match groups to remove redundant matches before consultation. Is it true or false? And the correct answer is it is true. Next question, which table is used as input for match process? Read questions properly, also read the options properly. The correct answer is, it's not BO match, or it's not BO MTCH table, it is BO STRP table. Which of these are valid child relationship types in IDD? Option 1 or option A, one to many. Option B, logical one to many. Option C, part of. Option D, part of primary object. Option E, references. The correct answer is one to many, part of, part of primary object and references. There is no relationship type with logical one to many. We have logical one to one. Next quiz question. How many levels we can configure in IDD subject area? Option A, two levels. Option B, five levels. Option C, three levels. Or option D, unlimited. I think you got the correct answer. The correct answer is three levels. Which of the valid customizations supported by the hub? A custom sequence, a custom index, custom Java cleans function, custom match engine, custom logging procedure. The correct answer is custom sequence, custom index, and custom Java cleans function. Next quiz question How to deploy MDM hub user exit? Using repository manager using SIP manager, using metadata manager, using custom object or none of the above. The correct answer is using custom object. Which statement best describes ORS that is operational reference store? It stores the rules for processing and managing the master data. Option B is it comes pre-configured with MDM hub. Option C is it stores user login info for MDM hub. Option D, all the choices are correct. The correct answer is it stores the rules for processing and managing master data. Next quiz question, ORS name should be always CMX ORS. Option A, true. Option B, false. And the correct answer is false. We can give any name to same ORS. We can give to any name to ORS. Of course, the normal procedure of create ORS and import ORS will remain same. Next quiz question. Match name, match columns considered for tokenization process. Is it true or false? Option A, true. Option B, false. And the correct answer is true. Which choice best describes what influences tokenization? Means what are the factors which influence the tokenization? Option A, key width. Option B, dirty indicator. Option C, strip CTAS delete ratio. All the choices influence tokenization. And the correct answer is all the choices influence tokenization. Next question. Before security settings have been applied, it is recommended that initial IDD config with admin level security has been set. Is it true or, or is it false? The correct answer is true. What is use of security access manager or SAM? To create users, to configure roles, to configure security and secured and private resources, to configure user groups, all of the above. 
I think this time you got the correct answer. The correct answer is to configure roles, to configure secure and private resources, and to configure user groups. To create users, we have the user section. Create user is not create. Create users cannot be done in SAM section. Which statements are correct regarding IDD? Option A: All integration between an IDD application and an ORS is through SIF API calls. Option B. Searching for data in a subject area can be based only on search match SIF API. Option C. IDD uses CleanSpoot API. Option D. By default, IDD authenticates users with a SIF call to a BERT server. The correct answer. All integration between an IDD application and and ORS is through SIF API calls. Searching for data in a subject area can be based only on subject uh, search match SIF API. Next question: IDD user exists stored in the database. Is it true or false? Option A true. Option B false. And the correct answer is true. Yes. The reason is whole IDD application itself is stored as a b log that is binary large object in the database so which holds the user exit code as well match tokens can be generated immediately after a load job completes or when a match job runs is it true is it false the correct answer is true we can configure accordingly to achieve this behavior which statements are true read, uh, regarding trust configuration? All columns in base object must have trust enabled. You can configure trust with no decay. You can change trust setting after record have been loaded into base object. Validation rules can downgrade the trust below the minimum trust value. It is mandatory to configure highest trust for admin source system. So what are your choices? What are the choices you selected? The correct answer is you can configure trust with no decay. You can configure trust setting after records has been loaded into base object. But you have to rerun the uh, recalculate BVT etc. Validation rules can downgrade the trust below the minimum trust value. Generate match token process uses SSA name tree mechanism. Is it true or is it false? The correct answer is true. What does the HM console allow data steward to do? To do? Option A perform matching and merging of relationship data, display detailed graphic view of entities and relationships, configure data models in hub store run bad jobs of hierarchy data correct answer display detailed graphic view of entities and relationships can we configure security to cleans function option a yes option b no third option unknown which one is your option which one is your op your option option a is s that is, we can configure clean functionality security. What does the match table contains? Very good question. Option A, all records with consolidation indicators set to 1. Option B, all records in match batch. Option C, match pair information. Option D, all match, all match rules. Option E, match rule sets. So choose your option. I think you got the correct answer. Match pair information. What statement best describe the key width? It can be any user defined value. It is always 10 characters. The choice includes standard, limited, extended, and pre preferred. It determines the match score. And the correct answer is the choice includes standard, limited, extended, and preferred. Next quiz question. MDM hub comes with the with which one of the below as a default population. 
US as a default population, international as a default population, demo as a default population, none of the above. I think you got the correct answer. Yes, that is answer is demo. Demo as a default population. Which one of the following is not an MDM or not a MDM product? Master reference server, HM, SAM, SIF, Informatica data services. The correct answer is Informatica data services. Next quiz question. Address doctor software can be used to cleanse customer names. Option A, no. Option B, yes. So what is your answer? Answer is no. Address doctor is used to clean the addresses and not the customer names. Which one of the which of these features are supported in Metadata Manager? The re renaming of certain design object, promoting a record state, running a simulation of applying a change list, validate repository. The correct answer is promoting a record state, running a simulation of applying change list, and validate repository. There is no function called as renaming of certain design objects. We cannot rename. So this is today's quiz. How do you like today's quiz? If you find it interesting and if you want some more quizzes, just let me know. If you like my video, do not forget to hit the like button. And thank you again for watching my videos. Have a nice time.